It's one of Melee's colorful, chemically dependent seafaring scallywags. <laughs> Hi there, fellow swashbuckler. Scample. How would you like to join my crew on a dangerous piratey mission? We'll be searching the seven seas for sunken treasure. I'll take that as a no, then. You look like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self-destructive binge drinking. It says, happy birthday. I guess he doesn't want anyone taking his birthday pretzels. From the personal log of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the seven seas? <laughs> And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley. Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of- Guy Brush! Uh, yes, dear.
It's full of hot coals. It's full of hot coals. It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. There's a pile of red-hot coals simmering on the deck there. Now I'm glad we got the ship with the flame-retardant lacquered deck wood. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. I have more important things to do than futz around in the cargo hold. I should try to pick one up if I want to try to do something with it. I should try to... There's a pile of red-hot coals simmering on the deck there. Now I'm glad we got the ship with the flame-retardant lacquered deck wood. It's too cumbersome to handle with just my feet. I don't think this coal will be of any use by itself. Nah. I hope there was nothing flammable in the hold. I really hope it didn't burn any holes in Elaine's suede luggage. I'd never hear the end of it. It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. I don't think this coal will be of any use by itself. Um, hey, Elaine, could you untie me? The way I pushed that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. 
I hope the loyal citizens of Melee don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. Could be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. Whoa. Got it. The burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, and the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh, well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? What? Where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> Either his litter box is full or he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Timmy, is something wrong? <laughs> Free grog at the scum bar? There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> you won 74 bucks playing bingo, but lost it all playing banana futures. There's, There's trouble, trouble at the, the governor's, governor's mansion. mansion. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's try 49, 7.3, minus 11. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? It was the marriage that killed her, they say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. But the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. Although it sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Oh, guy brush. Uh, yes, dear? I'm going down to City Hall to see about getting declared undead. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? And maybe later. First, I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Lucre Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. And not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. Well, I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. And don't forget, stop the catapult, go to Lucre Island. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. She was a lot nicer before she died. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. I don't think he'd like that. Um, excuse me. What? 
please stop firing boulders at my house? It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. What would it take to get you to stop flinging rocks at my house? Permanently? Yeah, some kind of restraining order, I guess. You'd need some fancy lawyers for that. Okay, how about temporarily? Well, the union gives us liberal snack breaks during the day, but I don't have any snacks. What are those numbers you're muttering? You know, I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Oh, come on. I want to see a boulder hit the cactus. No, I'm not wasting a boulder while the catapult's functioning properly. Oh, come on. I want to see a boulder hit the cactus. No, I'm not wasting a boulder while the catapult's functioning properly. Not that I'm complaining, but why are you having such a hard time hitting my house? It's this catapult. I've never seen such a finicky piece of machinery. Besides which, it throws like a girl. How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates? I'd love to, but I can't. My contract explicitly states that I'm not to leave Melee Island until this house has been demolished. Oh, come on. I want to see a boulder hit the cactus. No, I'm not wasting a boulder while the catapult's functioning properly. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. I don't have a thing to my name. Hmm. Let's try 17, 3.7, 12. Hmm, looks like our landscaper has been monkeying around. Polly, want a fertilizer pellet? I wonder how these cacti got onto our tropical pirate island. I wonder how these cacti got onto our tropical pirate island. I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. No way! I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. What an odd looking cactus. Fire! Hey, I bet I could market this. Vegetarian steak. That is one fat bird. That pig-shaped bush frightens and confuses me.
It's three o'clock. Sold. Cream of frog. Essence of worm-ridden seagull. Ugh, that's really, really disgusting. Sea slug pate. Essence of worm-ridden seagull. Ugh, that's really, really disgusting. Ouch, I hate to be that guy. This finger seems slightly different than the others. If I want to point at something, I'll use my own index finger. Yikes! You pull? Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with LucasArts. In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Threepwood? The cards have foretold that you seek direction. How do I stop that weasel from hurling rocks at my house? What goes up must come down. But what's more important is where it comes down. Yeah, like on my house. <sighs> I'm still not sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Gravity is your friend. Use their own instruments against them. I'm still not sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Gravity is your friend. Use their own instruments against them. How do I get to Luker Island? It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship. But I don't have a ship. So find one. Must I draw you a map? Then assemble your crew. A crew? Where am I going to get a crew? This is a pirate town. Even in these economically depressed times, you should be able to find a couple of competent sailors. Then sail to Lucre Island. But I don't know where to find Lucre Island. That's what navigators are for, Guybrush. I believe there's one in the scum bar. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. I sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. You might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. You don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor, my child. Just be yourself. Gee, thanks. Do you have any plus 10 strength elixirs in stock? Perhaps. What are your current stats? Uh, I don't think I've got any. Well then, what good would a strength elixir do? I see your point. How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help me sneak into women's locker rooms? Those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Got any? No, it's been a bad year for unspoiled eyeballs. Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Sorry, we're fresh out. We're expecting a shipment from Dinky Island early next week, though. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. I 
can tell that you're still interested in my voodoo wares. Did you have anything in particular in mind? On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. I can see that you're still fumbling for direction. I'm still not sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Gravity is your friend. Use their own instruments against them. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. <laughs> Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, you uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. <laughs> you two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common-looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. Didn't we run into each other last summer on Fat Island? We've never been to Fat Island. And never in the summers. Are you sure we haven't met? Drop it, Threepwood. Hey, how'd you know my name? Doesn't everyone know the name of Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate? True, but I still think you guys look familiar. Aren't you the famous comedy team of Youngler and Munts? Youngler and Munts? Never heard of them. You haven't? But they're brilliant! They do this bit about how men leave the commode seat up <laughs> and, and how women love to shop for boots. <laughs> well, I guess you had to be there. Apparently. I could swear that I know you guys. I really don't think so. Dudes, aren't you the founding members of Keel Hall, the world's loudest pirate speed metal band? Not likely. Neither of us can carry a tune. Neither can Keel Hall. I could swear that I know you guys. I really don't think so. Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man stop. He's come to take us back to Monkey Island. Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the swordmaster of Melee Island. And you're Otis. I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half-witch recognized us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? No. How difficult is it to? Escape from Monkey Island. Um, well, it's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, Buster. So, what have you rapscallions been up to? Ah, uh, where to begin? What have you been doing with yourself, Carla? You mean, after I finally managed to escape from Monkey Island? You're never gonna forgive me for that, are you? Not in this lifetime. Anyhow, I've spent the last few years here on Melee Island re-establishing my Swordmaster credentials. Well, that sounds productive. Oh, it was, until that Australian showed up. Australian? Yeah, an Australian real estate developer. He challenged me to a round of insult sword fighting, badgered me into betting my house. It was over so quickly. <laughs> Gee. Now I wandered the streets of Melee insult sword fighting for food. How sad. How about you, Otis? What have you been doing for the last few years? 
way after I finally escape it from Monkey Island. I made my way back to Melee Island, where I tried to resume my former profession. Petty thievery? I prefer to think of it as proactive redistribution of wealth. Unfortunately, the indignities I suffer on Monkey Island have left me so jittery that I cannot pick a lock or a pocket without making more noise than a flatulent hippo. What vivid imagery. So how do you earn a living? Begging mostly. You'd be amazed how many people will pay to hear the story of the innocent pirates who were betrayed by their idiot captain. Whatever happened to Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? He sold his house to a foreign investor. But he didn't want to. The investor challenged him to a round of insult gin rummy and beat him. Smirk was so ashamed that he signed over the deed to his house on the spot and hopped the next ship out of Melee. The same story's been repeated dozens of times all over Melee Island. This slimy investor strolls into a pirate's house or place of business, challenges him to a game of insult something or another, then humiliates them so badly that they have to cave into his hostile takeovers. Haven't you noticed all the sword signs around here? Well, where's the third member of our old crew? You mean Meat Hook? That's a good question. After we finally got off Monkey Island, Meat Hook renounced his piratey lifestyle and returned to his true passion. Drinking? Painting. Painting? But the guy's got no hands. That's what we said. These stories are too depressing. Let's talk about something else. If we must. Won't you join my crew for old time's sake? Guybrush, take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... Treasure. Boatloads of treasure. We're still waiting for the treasure you promised us the last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how about... Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Oh, that's rich. Everyone knows that a mysterious foreign investor has bought up all the real estate around Booty Island. Well, how about... Cushy government jobs. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Carla, what are you doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate.